hello guys welcome to the code angle youtube channel it's very good to have you on board once again so i intend to do a three-part series on angular material the first part is going to be how to set up and install angular material in an angular application that is what we're going to do today why the second video is going to be about how a crash course on angular material how to set up the components of angular material like the input fields like the loaders like the forms and the likes why the final video is going to be about angular material data tables which is going to focus mainly on a crowd functionality with an external api so you can be on the lookout for that that data table is also going to have functionalities like search functionality a filter and sort functionality so without wasting much time let me just give you a quick overview of what angular material is all about as we all know or as the name implies angular material is made mainly for angular so it can only work on an angular project and it has been around for quite a while sometimes around 2004 that was when angular was angular material was created and it has undergone so many changes since then in fact it was created during the time of angular js so you can look at the various versions of angular from this drop down the first version is 5.2 but the current version is version 13.2 so another thing about angular material is it has some certain features which i'm going to show us so one of the first features of angular material is it has an inbuilt responsive design that is it is its components are highly responsive which makes implementation easy it's another feature is angular materials a default css format it has ui components such as buttons checkboxes test fields chips dialogues sliders badge table tabs and tubers and the likes it also has specialized features such as cards side nav and data tables another interesting feature about angular material is it is cross-platform that is it can work across different environments like browsers server web workers and even mobile devices and another interesting part of angular material is it has a teaming system in place what do i mean by this when you head over to the angular material documentation which we or the angular material website also as well which we currently are if i click on this drop down you can see that i have access to four teams the current one i'm using is pink and blue gray if i decide to change it it's going to purple deep purple and amber the color changes another one is the indigo and pink we also have the purple and green so it's quite interesting and um so like i said in the very first video what we're gonna do is just to install and set it up so it shouldn't be a very long video or it shouldn't be a long video at all so without wasting much time let's get right into it <music> So the very first thing we're going to do is to create a new angular project so to do that you can navigate your own project directory i already i already did that in my own local machine so i can just type in ng new and before i proceed let me quickly remind you to like as well as subscribe to this youtube channel so that the youtube algorithm can keep recommending my videos to developers and people out there and for the channel to grow as well so thank you very much as you do that so what i'm going to type to get a or to create a new angular project is going to be ng new and then the name of our angular project so i'm just going to call it ng math which is an abbreviation for material so i'm going to be presented with a prompt i'm sure you are aware of this as you've also i want to believe a lot of us create um angular projects regularly so it's access if we like uh, angular routing for now i don't need it so i'm going to press no then it asks for the css type we want so i'm going to go with css and then we wait for it to install as well as create our angular project now that our angular project has been created what we can do now is to navigate to the project directory so i can just type in cd i called it ng math if i can still recall yes we are now in that project directory so the next step is to install my angular material so to do that let's head straight back to the angular material website which is material.angular.io so i'm going to click on the get started button when i'm going to scroll down and you can see on this page it says install angular material and we can do that with this command which is ng add at angular material so i'm going to grab that particular command and then head back to the terminal paste it in 
press enter and then we're going to be presented with some prompts which we will answer shortly the first prompt is asking us if we would like to proceed with the installation of the at angular material version of 13.2.3 which is the latest version so i'm going to type in yes and press enter so we can see the package is installing i think another prompt is going to come up very soon so the next prompt as you can see is asking us the type of theming format we want so we have the indigo pink the deep purple amber the pink blue gray and purple green we also have the custom option but like i said when i if i head back to documentation you can see all this in action you can see the indigo pink you can see the deep purple you can see the purple and green i think i'll go with the pink and blue is it pink and blue yeah pink and blue gray let's go with that version so i'm going to head back to the terminal and then i'm going to select pink slash blue gray press enter so do i another prompt says do i want to set up angular material typography styles yes of course i want that as well and then do i want browser animations for this option it's a must you have browser animations because without browser animations most functionalities in the angular material would not work so you just have to press yes i think it's very compulsory so with that the final implementation of angular material will be installed and then we can open our projects in visual studio code so we can do that by typing code dots in our terminal and then pressing enter so with that command we have visual studio code available for us so inside of visual studio code i'm sure we're all familiar with the angular project format so we have the src folder which is the folder we need to navigate to as well as the app folder so inside of these folders by default angular provides us with the app component.html which contains our boilerplate template so i'm going to clear everything off inside of the app component.html and then press save so the next thing i'm going to do is just to put in probably um a tag that says h3 hello i save once again then i type in ng serve to see if our project compiles successfully in the browser so i'm going to type ng serve dash o and enter so that should take a little while and then we proceed from there as you can see our app compiles successfully and we have the lo h3 tag on the browser without any errors so that means we are on the right track and also to confirm that we have angular material installed i can just head straight to the package.json and if i scroll down we can see at angular material over here version 13.2.3 but this is not enough right like we need to be sure that we have angular material installed in this project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement just one single component to sh to show you that we have angular material installed so quickly i head straight to the angular material documentation once again i head straight to components and inside of components i navigate to button under the button we have three tabs we have the overview tab the api tab and the examples tab so i click on the api tab so what i'm going to grab here is the math button module so I'm going to copy that head straight to the app module.cs file in my own application. And as you can see, the browser module application we installed earlier is already imported and injected. So we need to do the same with our math button module. So I'm going to copy that and inject it in the import array as well. And then what I'm doing, going to do next is to grab in the overview tab the code. So I'm going to click on this icon and then I grab the this just this section i grab the html for that section and head back to the app component.html paste it in so i need to grab the css as well so i'm going to grab the css um so everything inside the css copy that as well head straight to the app component.css paste that in then i'm going to save everything we've done so far and let's see if we have the effects of angular material in our project as you can see we have the effects in our projects we have the basic the primary button the account button the one button as well as the link button all these are angular material css classes that is the colors like this is color for one which is red accents primary and basic if i go back you can see what i mean we have this math race, math button which has a color of primary accent one different colors as you can see here so this shows that we already have angular material installed in our project and probably we can also grab another set of section and you see what i mean let me grab this paste it in let me replace it with 
the previous ones we have i'm gonna save head back to the browser and yeah you see we have the button math button components available in our project so this is pretty much easy and straightforward so we've completed the installation as well as the setup of angular material so in the next video i'm gonna go in, in depth into the other components of angular material so be on the lookout for that one and with that i say thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next one